I think there's something very destructive about living in a world of 7 billion people. Um, and that's that in a world of 7 billion people, one becomes meaningless, irrelevant, mediocre to the extent of being just one in a multitude of completely interchangeable people. Um, and on an objective basis, uh, there is some truth to that. Um, obviously, one's death is no world uh, event. One can easily be replaced. Um, but then again, there's the same kind of truth about the planet itself. If Earth is obliterated, it's no matter to the universe. It'll just go on. Um, but I think as a human being, it is a bad thing and a very damaging thing. Um, and part of it is just that feeling of being valued, of being able to um, to use one's skills and uh, find a niche and to be appreciated for that. And that's kind of impossible nowadays um, because with 7 billion people, you always suck. You might be... Um, you know, you might be pretty good at something, but you're probably sc still going to be worse than millions of people, unless you're amazingly good or it's something that no one else does and cares about. Um, and everything ends up, if you look at it on a scale of 7 billion people, being a competition you can't win. Um, and the thing is, on the scale of 7 billion people, everything has to be a competition. Because it can't be, on that scale, a participatory activity that's kind of mutually supporting. Because with 7 billion people, there's no room for that. Like, the best person can't be looking at what everyone else is doing and giving them constructive feedback and encouraging them and so on and so forth. When you boil it down to that kind of level, it has to be um, basically something that is going to crush the vast majority of people and just leaves a tiny little group of people who are actually the best in the world at it. Um, and I think that's very destructive. And it's it goes for identity as well. Um, when you look at yourself in that kind of context, uh, and then you look at the famous people, and people always... They always look for that connection to people that are big and important. They want to meet movie stars. They want to meet someone famous. But they can't. Because that's what hundreds of millions of people want. Well, maybe they can meet them. But they can't really have a meaningful relationship with them. And, I mean, some people become stalkers. Which is obviously the kind of worst form of it. Um, but most people, I think just have this little piece of kind of sadness or unfulfilledness inside them unless they actually have a strong sense of community um, either in their actual community or in their family which ameliorates it somewhat and if that community is large enough completely eliminates it because I think that's where we get that kind of sense from originally it's the community it's uh that group of people which is just large enough so that we can w know one another that we can make something even if we're not the best at it a communal supporting kind of activity instead of a competitive one where we can look at one another as allies and as people we know uh, but in well I guess not even increasingly anymore at this point it's just a given it's not even something that we question in big cities especially anymore uh, that doesn't exist in Sydney it doesn't exist really um, where I came from in Germany there were mm, still hints of it it was a city of 200,000 um, you know, you had like church kind of festivals and things and people would get together. I have this intuition it wasn't the same thing 
but at least there was some hint of it and that seems to have disappeared altogether um, in the big cities that I've been in and I think that's a very regrettable thing and I think that's something that a lot of people are missing and I think that's because we're focusing on the wrong thing we're always focusing on what's the biggest the best the most amazing um, and by doing that we fail to see people individual people as they really are because we can't take a person and make them this marketable commodity for 7 billion people and ex expect that to somehow work out and then expect all of the other people to be fine it won't work uh, you know what I think we should be doing is we shouldn't be you know you can still watch the World Cup but you shouldn't only be watching the World Cup you should also be watching local soccer you can read you know a big newspaper you should because it's important to know what's going on in the world but you should be reading your local newspaper as well um, sure you can like uh, you know read a famous author but what about the creative writing group that's somewhere close to you what about the stuff they're doing um, and we have obviously all of the technology to make those connections but instead that technology is focused on connecting everyone basically to the hive and then to the kind of focus of commercial and capitalistic activity which is this packaged product and this packaged product cannot be a product which is going to be interactive and dynamic it cannot be a product that really reflects you and it cannot be a product that you can feel a part of um, instead it's just it's actually a very exclusionary product if you look at this thing then in comparison everything else seems stupid um, and at the same time you're giving away all of your power over culture to this product which is built and produced by this group of people who are doing their market research and tinkering with it to be especially psychologically kind of uh, insidious at grabbing your brain and keeping you addicted to that particular thing and you can't really trust it because you know it's trying to exploit you and I think those things are all things that are very problematic. And I think those are all things that community could fix. And I'm not talking about community like politicians talk about it. I'm talking about real community. And we have the technology to build communities. But then again, we had that technology like thousands of years ago we had communities. We've just lost that part of our culture. Um, and I think we should move towards a society that's bottom up again instead of what we have today which is a top down society and I don't think historically that's where humankind was at almost any point of their history it was never a top down society yes there's some things came from the top um, and as time progressed that was increasingly so you know fashion from the king or something but for most of human history it was a grassroots effort focused on what was around you um, and not looking at which person in the world was you know or what exactly is the most marketable and I think that's something we should move back towards um, I don't know how I have no idea but yeah, you know, just some thoughts